Rainbow Dash! One morning at Wellsworth, Edward and Applejack were waiting to collect passengers from Thomas and Twilight's train. We're late. Where is Thomas? He doesn't usually make us wait. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Johnny so long at- Dang, never, Charlie. Never mind about Johnny right now. Just get up on the roof and see if you can find Thomas and Twilight. Can you see him anywhere? No. There's Bertie Boss in a tearing hurry. No need to bother them though. Likely he's on a coach tour or something. Then Applejack decided it was best to be on time rather than keep on waiting. So they left Wellsworth, heading for their first stop at Crosby. But what they didn't know, for that decision, was a mistake. Edward, stop! I've got Thomas and Twilight's passengers for you! But it was no good. Edward and Applejack were already gone. Oh, bother. I can't believe Thomas took some time off because Twilight is too busy with the princess to be to come to work today. Why did I promise them to help their passengers catch the next train? Sorry, Bertie, but a promise should never be broken, and we must stick to it. I'll catch up to Edward for first trying. Bertie the bus was working harder than ever. As he was climbing uphill, he began to feel a little tired. Oh my dears and axles. After this job, I'll never be the same bus again. We did it! I can see him! When they reached Crosby at the top of the hill, they were shocked. Oh no! Edward's at Crosby Station! Wait a minute. He's only stopped at the crossing! Yes! With that, Bertie sped down the hill. All right, Bertie, go for it! After reaching the station, Bertie and Spike roared into the parking lot. Wait, Edward, wait! But it was too late. They pulled in just in time to see him and Applejack puff away. I'm sorry, everyone. I failed to help catch your train. Never mind, Bertie. After him quickly. Third time lucky, you know. Do you think we'll catch him in the next station, Spike? Well, there might be a good chance. All roads run parallel alongside the railway, and we can climb hills much faster than Edward can. But I'm not sure if there are any roads and shortcuts to get there. I better ask to make sure. He then spoke to the station master. Bertie and the passengers waited impatiently. When Spike returned moments later, he had a happy look on his face. Yes. The station master says there's plenty of roads that go as far as the Farquhar branch can go, so we'll do better this time. With the passengers clapping and cheering, Bertie left Crosby to chase after Edward and Applejack once more, this time all the way to Tory Rack. <laughs> Thank you. 
After an exhilarating journey, they glided smoothly downhill into Toy Rex Station. Get in quickly, please. Then the conductor blew his whistle, and Applejack looked back for the go-ahead. But the flag didn't wave, and they were getting very confused. Hmm, I wonder what the whole of is. Then, when they heard Bertie's horn, everything seemed to happen all at once. And then Bertie and Spike told Edward, Applejack, and the conductor all about what had happened. I'm sorry about the chase, Bertie. We didn't know that Thomas wasn't working today. Me neither. I can understand that Twilight had important friendship business to attend back in Equestria, so it wasn't your fault to begin with anyway. We just didn't want to be late. My fault? Back at Wellsworth, you two didn't get the message about that passengers were being brought over by me. No. Never mind. Goodbye, Bertie. We're off. Thanks for the help, Sugar Q. Bertie then raced off to Tidmus Station to tell Thomas that all went well. Thank you, Bertie, for keeping your promise to me in Twilight. I know it wasn't easy, but you and Spike are very good friends indeed. Anytime, pal. 